Hi YouTube! Today I'm going to do an honest review on the lineup of Kiki Curly products. So stay tuned! Okay, the first lineup product on Kiki Curly is the Kiki Curly Come Clean Shampoo. And this is the product. And it is a natural moisturizing shampoo. It is sulfate free and it helps to restore the pH balance and the shine and moisture in your hair. I really like this product. This is a great shampoo. It helps to remove any residue that is left in my hair from me doing my hair of all the twist outs, out of all the braid outs. Um, I have no residue left. I have, you know, no flakes left or any of that. It's not greasy. It doesn't strip my hair, but it also doesn't leave my hair feeling greasy or anything like that. So I really like this shampoo a lot. This is a really great shampoo. It is fairly inexpensive. It's about $11. And I'll put the total of all of the Kiki Curly products that I have listed below in the description box. And, you know, this is just really great shampoo. Um, this shampoo is cruelty-free. It is natural. And I really like it because it's organic. So I didn't I really want to get rid of all of my shampoos that have sulfates in them and things like that because um, I've just been doing my own research on natural hair and things like that and I don't want any um, chemicals or any sulfate to my hair that is ruining the natural chemistry of my hair basically so I just made a conscious decision to you know totally go organic and natural on my own hair and to stop straightening and things like that you know, this is my own conscious personal decision. But whatever you continue to do, you know, what works for you, continue with it. Um, the next thing that I have on my Kiki Curly product list is the Not Today Solution. This product is so great. It is a leave-in detangler and conditioner. It is um, cruelty-free and organic. And this is definitely my stamp, tried, and true detangler. I will stay by this product. This definitely cuts my detangling time in half. It helps me to leave the hair on my head and out of the comb. And I just really like it. It's not that expensive, again. And, you know, I just haven't come across a great product like this in a long time for naturally curly hair. It's just a great product. And you know what? For all you curly girls, this is great. Many of you have heard about this. Many of you know to use this. And even if you aren't natural, this is a great product even if you are permed, if you are straightened or whatever. Like, it's just a great product. And I would pretty much recommend this for anybody because it's organic so there's like no harm to it and I only see plus for this product. The next thing that I have on my list for Kiki Curly is the Curly Borrow Spritz. Um, this product it's it's alright I would give it you know thumbs up. Only thing I could say about this product that's a con is that the stream of the product when you go to use it it doesn't come out in like a stream as if you are spraying like traditional spritz. It comes out in like a clump and I'll demonstrate that now. So it comes out like I gonna, I'm gonna read that again. It comes out like this. It doesn't come out in like a stream as if you were you know spring traditional spritz as I said before and I really didn't like that I expected something a little different but I can say that it does refresh your curls for second day curls and I love that it doesn't leave your hair hard and crunchy um, as a typical spritz that you would use and so I do like that I would um, I would use it I probably wouldn't buy it myself with my own money <laughs> but I do like it I'm going to continue to use the rest of this product up um, the next thing that I have is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. The wrapper is gone because when I bought this, the um, safety seal was at the very was at the very very top, and I couldn't like open the product. This was just like rip um label off. Like it doesn't matter. You know what the product is. So I just decided to take the entire label off. Um, this is the consistency of the product. 
it is like um, a gel you guys can see that it's pretty slimy as you can see and I've had this for about um, about three months I probably should have said that with my other products yeah I've had um, this for about three months it goes a long way like a little definitely goes a long way like if you use too much it leave your hair feeling crunchy and I like big hair I don't like crunchy hair I like my hair to be big and nice and soft and curly so yeah I like that a lot about this product I would definitely say this product works best on fully natural hair um, if you have some straight pieces, I'll recommend you two strands twisting them or three strand braiding them, or you can do like a roller set with them. When I say roller set, I mean twisting the hair and putting a roller on the ends of the hair to get rid of the straight pieces. And um, if you have natural hair, this will definitely bring out your natural curl pattern. And I would definitely say less is more. If you really want to achieve like a full bouncy look, I would even get your blow dryer and put it attach the diffuser at the end of the blow dryer and make sure it's on the high setting but cool heat. And diffuse your curls and you'll have nice, big, bouncy, luscious curls. So this is a great product to use. And last on my Kiki Curly list is the Gloss Pomade. I've had this Gloss Pomade for about three months. That's about the time. I bought these products just about in all the same time. I have a lot of this left. I actually have a lot of this left because I actually used it and didn't like it. And then the other day I just thought of it out of nowhere. And I was like, wait, I have this pomade in my um, hair box. Let me use this. And so I used a little bit of this today on my edges. And it gave my edges a nice shine without it being too greasy. I'm not into greasy hair. I'm into a, a nice shine. And it has natural oils in it. Oils like avocado oil, jojoba oil, pomegranate oil, and, you know, other natural things like that. And, you know, it's pretty good. I like it. So these are all the lines of the Kinky Lily products that I have. Again, the Come Clean Shampoo. I bought this about February, mid-February. And this is June. So you can see that this shampoo lasts a long time. I still am at the halfway mark of my shampoo. And so this will definitely last you a long time. And it's about $11. And again, I'll put the product um, cost below in the description box. And the Not Today Solution, I actually just bought some more of this a couple of days ago. I had only this much left, and I was like, oh no, I need some more Not Today Solution. So I went to Target and I bought some more. It was like $11 again, also. And again, I bought this like in February, and it I just ran out a couple of days ago. So this is a brand new bottle. I just used it a couple of days ago. Um, the Spalling Spritz. I also bought this about mid-February. This is June. I haven't been using it that much. Um, I stopped using it, um, I want to say about April. And I am a little, I have a fourth of this left, but about a little more than a fourth left of this. So this is last is about quite a lot. And the curling custard, as I said before, I have like a fourth of this left. And I had this about February mid-February that is and the pomade I still have a lot of this left so it lasts quite a long time and I definitely give the entire line of the Kiki Curly products a thumbs up um, these products are fairly inexpensive they can get expensive you know when you buy them all at once but I think of it this way it's expensive as a one-time purchase but um, it lasts you for a good three or four months so I think it's well worth it so I like it and don't forget to rate subscribe and comment below and thank you for watching YouTube have a great day you guys bye these products are purchased from Target and Whole Foods. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.